mitosis and fertilization in flowering plants Mitosis is the process by which the chromosomes in a cell nucleus are separated into two identical sets in two nuclei. During the interphase, the DNA in the nucleus has replicated but has not yet condensed to form chromosomes. They remain as loosely coiled chromatin. During the prophase, the DNA molecules shorten and coil to form chromosomes. The nuclear membrane surrounding the chromosomes disintegrates and the centrioles migrate to the poles of the cell. In the next stage, known as the metaphase, spindle-like structures from the centrioles attach themselves to the centromeres of the chromosome and align the chromosomes at the equatorial plate. The chromatids are then pulled apart and moved towards the centrioles. This is known as the anaphase. In the telophase, the spindles disintegrate and nuclear membranes are formed yet again, enclosing the chromosomes within a nuclear envelope. Cytokinesis then takes place during which the cytoplasm divides in order to form two daughter cells. Each cell contains the same number of chromosomes. With this, the process of mitosis is complete. Mitosis takes place during the process of double fertilization in flowering plants or angiosperms. Double fertilization is a unique process that involves the joining of the female gametophyte with two male gametophytes. The megaspore or the reproductive cell within the ovule of the plant first replicates by the process of meiosis. From one diploid megaspore, four haploid megaspores are formed. Usually, only one haploid megaspore survives. This megaspore expands and undergoes three rounds of mitosis to form eight haploid nuclei. The nuclei initially share the same cytoplasm. They are enclosed in a structure known as the embryo sac. The nuclei arrange themselves within the sac and form cell walls.
three haploid cells form opposite the opening of the embryo sac. They are called the antipodal cells. Three other cells form above the opening of the sac or the micropyle. The central cell is the egg cell and is flanked on each side by a cell known as the synergid. Two nuclei remain in the center of the embryo sac. For further fertilization to occur, the sperm cell must reach the embryo. Thus, a pollen grain must travel from the anther and land on the stigma. The pollen grain contains two cells, a tube cell and a generative cell or sperm cell. When the pollen grain lands on the stigma, germination takes place. The tube cell elongates and forms a pathway from the style to the ovary. Before entering the ovary, the generative cell undergoes mitosis and forms two haploid sperm cells. One sperm cell enters the egg and eventually forms a diploid zygote. The other sperm cell joins the two central nuclei and forms a triploid cell. This cell develops into the endosperm. The endosperm provides nutrition to the embryo. Only angiosperms or flowering plants are capable of double fertilization.